Hello Internet, how are you? So today I'm going to show you how to create, how to use, how to bleed a point to site VPN on Microsoft Azure Cloud Network. Okay, let's start. Okay, now I'm going to cover the first topic is create a point to site VPN. So first of all, we need to log into our portal. So, browse everything, click virtual network, choose your virtual network. If you look at here, on the configuration here, site VPN connection, first one is site to point to site, another one is site to site. It's saying you don't have any existing VPN, click here to get started. So, create point to site, point to site, give it the name address so now we need to assign an address space ok so now we can hit ok now So it start working. If you look at the notification, it's deployment started. Let's give it some time. Okay, it's saying deployment succeed. So let's look at this one. So this one is online now. The ser I believe the service online. But we still need to create a gateway for this point to site VPN. So create. So once we click the gateway icon is starting to create the gateway so deployment started ok let's give it some time so now it's saying deployment to resource group group was success ok let's uh, so basically it's created the VPN now Let's check the status. So now I can click Gateway. So it's give me extra step to configuration required settings. Address. Ask me which address we are going to use. So Basically, I believe we can use the existing one. Hit OK. Hit OK. So look at the notification again. Deployment started again. Okay, now it's saying completed. Let's see if we can refresh it. It looks take a while to refresh the icon. It's still showing creating gateway. Anyway, let's move to next step. So if we click that uh, point to point point to site VPN client. So here, what we need to do is upload the client certificate. Because this VPN server is using the client certificate to authenticate the connection. So before we can download those client, we need upload the certificate first. So, okay, so in this case, we need to find a client certificate. Okay, so let's run. I'm going to look at my certificate. Okay. So I launched the management console at snap in certificates at my user account. Okay. So if I look at my use personal certificate, I have a couple of certificates. So find the one hasn't hasn't expired yet. So now you need to export your certificate. So 
remember this is personal certificate okay if I put it my certificate 2015 save okay now is exported so it's ready to upload it so I have another video to show you how to apply a certificate from the certificate provider okay so check it out so now we have a client certificate so upload choose a certificate member we use my certificate 2015 okay this is my click OK so give it some time uploading successfully okay so now let's go back let's go back of VPN so upload successfully uploaded I think it takes a while. Let's give it some time. Okay, now I'm back. So this uh, gateway is up and running. And, uh, if we look at our certificate, we can see we already upload a couple certificate now. So this one. So now it's available for the downloading of the client. So if we download. It depends which windows you are using. So now I have downloaded the client. Okay, it's running now. So asking me, do you want to install? I say yes. So, uh, oh, it's my firewall. Okay, installed. So let's look at my icon here. So this is a new icon for my VPN connection. Connect. Connect. So ask me pick up the certificate. This is a certificate I export to Microsoft Azure Cloud Server. So I will use the same one, connect. Okay, it's connecting. Very fine. Okay, connected. See, it's connected. Okay. So work network close. Okay, so we have successfully implement the point to site. VPN on Azure Cloud ser service and uh, use the Windows 7 to connect it to the site and uh, make the connection. Okay, now I'm going to cover the next topic is delete the point to site VPN. So in our portal, let's browse everything and go to your virtual network. So, click the existing network. Let's check our VPN here. This is our VPN. So, in here we have a gateway. We have VPN. So, we can click delete. Yes. Give it a second. So, once it's deleted successfully, you will get the notice. Delete gateway success. So let's renew our view. Okay. So after it's deleted successfully, it's showing gray now. So now we click this one site to site point to site VPN. Now we can delete this function as well. Okay, give it a little bit time. If we look at the notifications, we can see it's doing updating once we start deleting. Okay, so success. So that's for deleting. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. Thank you.